ballpark, you know, you know, 20 to 40 is kind of like where most people are going to fall. If you're above 40, you're doing something right. If you're under 15 and the cutoff is 14 when I was uh, still doing kind of like hospital work, if your VO2 max is under 14 and you had a bad heart, that was kind of a cutoff saying like, yeah, we should list you to get your heart transplant. Oof. And you don't routinely, just to, to kind of close this out, you don't routinely measure VO2 max? If patients are very interested, I will send it for it. You know, I have the uh, the Frontier X2 chest strap, which is probably the most sensitive heart strap you can use for exercising. It can measure uh, a EKG while you're exercising. And they claim to be able to kind of relatively accurately measure an estimated VO2 max off of that. So mm. I think it's good enough for most people. But if you're really hardcore, got to go do the real thing. Why don't you think more cardiologists focus on skeletal muscle health? Because they're focusing on cardiac muscle. You know, the, the analogy is time is muscle in the cath lab. You know, when your arteries aren't you know, open, they're rushing to open those arteries up because the muscle cells in the heart are dying until they get their restored blood flow. So at least they use analogy, time is muscle, but they're thinking about cardiac muscle. If you, you know, you've covered a lot on how to protect your heart. And really, if we were to sum this up, it was lifestyle, be active, sleep well. I'm going to fight you on that one. <laughs> Listen, a lot of parents don't have an option. Get outside, wear um, blue, black, and glasses, maybe. 